So I'm doing a three card draw for Taurus, past, present, and future. Past, present, and future. This is March 2020. Just learning these cards. So this is for a friend. What do we have for Taurus? Ace of Cups for her past. Past, present, and future. We've got two for the present. One of them upside down. Six of Cups. Ace of Swords for present. Was given the seven of swords for Taurus future. <clears throat> Two more came up. Four of Cups and the Empress. And this is the future for Taurus. The Ace of Cups. Very beautiful card. She's holding a cup in her hand that's that looks like the universe. So this is past for Taurus. Ace of Cups says Ace of Cups, the light seer, new connections, new romantic relationships, friendships, seeds of love and hope, newfound emotions, awakening the heart, joy, positive outcomes, oneness, bliss, creativity, the shadow seer, is a time to nurture more self-love, making sure you aren't repressing your emotions, opening up to the possibility of love, this is her past. An extremely positive message of vibrant beginnings. The Ace of Cups marks the genesis of relationships, emotional connections, and deep feelings of love and friendship. Your emotions are powerful magic. Cultivate your ability to call on expansive, optimistic, and profoundly radiant feelings and consciously send your heart waves out into the world. They will become powerful beacons for the awakening new adventures, romance, and the effusive joy that you are calling into your life. Your capacity for love is expanding, so check in to make sure you aren't repressing your, repressing your ability to connect with others as a result of being overly protective. Mindfully extend the love you feel to your own heart as well. Forgive yourself for past mistakes and find a fountainhead for healing. With copious amounts of self-acceptance, get ready to expand. Exciting affinities are emerging, and it's time to open up. And give yourself permission to deepen your kinship with the life around you. The main message is my heart is open and filled with love. For present, we have six of cups that did come upside down. Light Seer. Nostalgia, reconnecting with people from the past, harmony, themes of your life, inner child, and future self. It's him from a boy to a man. 
being stuck in the past. This is the shadows here. Being stuck in the past. Laminating decisions and actions. A need to forgive others. A reminder to forgive yourself. Letting people need to deal with regret. You may be experiencing nostalgia or feeling triggered by old memories. It's time to forgive yourself by releasing any residual guilt that you still may carry from an past relationships, trauma, and previous actions. Accept your humanness and stop laminating decisions that you've made up until now. Memories are a profound tool for processing lessons and healing. Who you were can highlight how far you've come, and that growth can shine beauty on where you are headed now. Time is a beautiful thing. Contemplate the needs of your inner child or listen to advice from your future self. Sometimes this card is a literal message that sometimes from your past is going to re-enter your life. Someone from your past, sorry, is going to re-enter your life. Or that it's perfect moments of reconnect with old kindreds and to reminisce. When we reconnect with all of the moments on our timeline, we truly find our wholeness. The message is, I am at peace with my past. It has brought me to where I am meant to be. Our next card is Ace of Swords. The Ace of Anything is always a powerful card. The Light Seer. Hmm. How can we do this? New ideas, clarity, and aha moment. This is her present. Truth revealed awareness and heightened states of consciousness, memory, or thought, communication, victory, success, and triumph of stroke of genius. Shadow seer, overanalyzing, getting stalled out or stuck, clouded judgment, keeping truth inside. Massive clarity is on the way. A new door is opening up to you, up for you. Often availing and life-changing idea or significant spiritual breakthrough. Expect aha moments of lucidity and pierce your awareness to reveal a totally fresh vision. For the future, as this essence spirals into comprehension, use this time to see things that are really are and to tune into the new beginnings. The quiet insight of the unconscious mind is being made available for you, so you may experience a rapid expansion as your conscious mind Integrates this newfound information. Know that nothing can compete with the fierce rays of wisdom and truth so that if you are finding yourself with clouded judgment or with stalled thinking, it's time to speak. Seek the brightly lit energy of honesty. Gather your discernment, your intellect, your logic, and your insight and clearly communicate the truth that is bubbling up to be witnessed. Discernment is the ability to tell truth from lies. For her future, Taurus, assuming this is a, few, a woman, Taurus was given the Seven of Swords. Light Seer. Deception of betrayal, taking only, this is her future. Deception of betrayal, taking only what's needed. The universe bearing witness to true intentions. Getting away with something being strategic, being grateful for the resources you have, moving silently and quickly. The shadows here. Lying to yourself or to others, a need for perspective and honesty, secrets, something stolen, taking more than your fair share, being held back by an imposter, imposter syndrome. Being held back by imposter syndrome. Traditionally, this card warns, warns us that we must be on the lookout for deception, thievery, and betrayal. While we can sometimes find ourselves the victim of someone else's deceit, it's also a nudge to act in the alignment with our own highest mortality. Morality, I'm sorry. 
Be sure that you are being honest with yourself about the nature of your reality right now. Sometimes we pretend that everything is okay or that we are doing the best that we can even when we are not. Sometimes this shows up as reckless or as avoidance of responsibilities. Take only what's needed and remember that no excuse outweighs your ability to act from a place of love and integrity. You cannot deceive your own heart and the universe will always bear witness to your truest intentions for you alone and vulnerable under the light of the full moon. The only thing that matters is the truth. Move forward with the lightness of conscience to guide you. Here you are messaging me, the one I'm doing this for. The message of the card is, I act from a place of love and morality, and the universe witnesses my honest intentions. That's your goal. Okay, then we have the Four of Cups. And again, I just go with what was thrown at me, and, and she got three cards for the future. So the Four of Cups, um, she looks bored. She's got lots of bowls in front of her, and, and some of them are filled. But she doesn't notice them. Because she's out looking at something else. She's got one that's just pouring out with light and, and rainbows and all kinds of goodies. But she doesn't see it. She's bored with things. And I've seen this card before. And I've related with this card, and... And I think what I'm dealing with now is because of that card. So it's good to realize now, before the future, which in the future you may get a lot more bored. Going for the Four of Cups. The Light Seer, missing opportunities for abundance, a time to mediate, meditate, frustrations and boredom. Being a brat, not appreciating what you have, empathy, introspectum, stability leading to boredom, the shadow seer. Focusing on the negative. Pessimism, a time to practice gratitude, a gentle nudge to stop complaining. If you are finding yourself bored, unsatisfied, or frustrated with your current situation, know that you are likely missing the vibrant landscapes that are present, just beyond your preparial vision. Often we become so focused on our own internal perspectives that we are feeling about a situation can prevent us from noticing the arrival of extraordinary opportunities and remarkable things. If you remain open to shifting ever so slightly in order to see your situation in a fantastic new light, you will learn the present moment is filled with the most dynamic magic. Instead of focusing on what you don't have right, focus on what you do. Even better, spend energy focusing your thoughts on the experiences that you will create in the future. Taking time to meditate and slow your mind will show you that life is better than it seems. It is up to you to shift into abundance available to you right now. Message of the card is I see the fulfillment and riches in my life. I hope that you do. The next card is the Empress. This is one of the most gratifying cards that this deck or any deck offers. The Empress is a very powerful card. <clears throat> Lights here, the divine feminine, prof prolific creativity, fertility, motherhood, unity of goddess, sensuality, nurturing, abundance, empathy, unconditional love. Unification of mind, body, and spirit. The girl I'm reading this for, which I did a Taurus as a whole, but she is pregnant and she's about to deliver, so that's a perfect card. Shadow Seer. Infertility, emotional overwhelm, shutting down the need for self-care, disharmony, and neglectance, being materialistic, being overprotective of your creations, being overly dependent on others. The Gaizen Empress radiates fertile energy, positive outcomes, and unconditional love. This flourishing creative energy is of the earth. So bring your dreams from the ethereal realms and ground them, share them, birth them. Her boundaries abundance is always available to you, and she reminds you to find her regenerative beauty everywhere. 
You are entering a time of profound healing and blessings, and if you're feeling any lack of inspiration or possibilities, seek to heal your physical temple to the nourish your soul by embodying her shining creative essence. Continue to move calmly and gracefully in the direction of that which whispers yes. This card often affirms that you are on the right track. So keep growing, beautiful seer, and work with the nature of your situation instead of against it. The message of the Empress. I am ready to give birth to my abundantly rich future. And this was the future card. So, for the Light Sierra's Tarot, that's it. My name is Kendra. I'm a Pisces, March 16th, born in 1989. And I am looking to learn this. So, take everything with a grain of salt. But if it seems cool, then maybe watch another one. And I love you, Amy, and thanks for being an inspiration for my very first video. <laughs>